Hi everyone, welcome to the Big Lady of the Small House channel. If you remember, about three weeks ago I removed the basal plate from this bulb, the red lion. It's been in the outside on the balcony and I thought, thought it was a bit colder for it, so there was no result. And about a week ago I brought it inside, put it in a warm place, put more water in the perlite. And as you can see, I've got the first root. Here it is. Nice, small. It's... And I'll leave it in the perlite so far because the root is too small. So I'll wait for another week or two before it can be planted in the soil. Carefully place it inside this and put it back into the warm place and somewhere like this so the heat from the radiator reaches I'll probably put it here that's my hospital where all the de-rooted valves trying to get the roots this one has been this is the apple blossom that arrived with a completely rotten basal plate just a small tiny piece that it remained this is the flatter mouse it had the stagna the stagnospora so out of the 32 centimeter bulb this is what has left and it was cleaned completely and dried and now it's trying to root now we have the red lion, now we have the emerald, which is also arrived with the red blotches. And it gave one root, but yesterday I had to clean the basal plate again, because it had some roots inside. And these are the bulblets rooting. There's another one, I don't know what the name of it is. Of it. Label is missing. Probably the apple blossom because it had the the bulblet, and these are the bulblets that are grown from seeds from Maria's garden. This is the Madame Butterfly, mixed with red, and this one is a cross between. Caramba and Madame Butterfly. So these two are growing well. This one is not really, I don't know what happened to them, probably too old. Or oh, I kept them too, for, too, for too long before plant, uh, planting. Well, anyway, that's my rooting place. This is beautiful Rapida. And this is actually the basal plate from Sweet Lillian. I was trying to root it. And the reason I started making the checking all the bulbs is yesterday I was uh, I was watering the the box like this with Sweet Lillian. And I pulled it out and it was full of roots. And the Sweet Lillian was standing here with, with no roots for about four months since I ordered it. It gave nice flowers and everything and no leaves. So I removed the basal plate. I probably let's see if it has some roots. No, it was it was standing like this for about four months. And I removed it about a month ago. And now the sweet lilian has ni nice roots and is already in the soil. I'll put the photo, photo after this video so you can see the nice roots that grew within about three weeks or so so stay tuned as you can see the removing basal plate does work and it, the bulbs themselves give, give nice roots and if the, the basal plate has roots you can also their, their own roots you can also try and keep it and they possibly 
will give you bulblet like this one two or maybe up to 20 so it's up to you if you need more you can try that so that's now the kindergarten here and so we'll be reporting them later on once it gets warmer because right now we have the hurricane and these pieces of snow somewhere around so it's not really nice outside on the balcony even though i have a heater on still about 13 14 degrees celsius but that's okay for hippie astrums as far as it's not falling down below 10 degrees and that's wild amazon it also suffered from red blotches and was had had problems with rooting but finally it had really nice roots and i cleaned it and removed all the all the damaged scales treated the fungicide and it's growing nice and as you can see it's got six leaves so i have at least one spike ready for the next season anyway stay tuned for more videos and if you have any questions